Chapter 676, Imperial Draco Bull, this is more like it. Li Kai came over while this buffalo was still gazing at Li Kai. However, it didn't attack him, take it easy, it's me. Li Kai placed his palm on the beast's forehead, at this time, his forehead opened once more and out came an endless sea of memories. In this instant, a ray of light from inside quickly entered the buffalo's head. A buzzing sound came about a moment Li Kai's ray of light disappeared inside the buffalo's head. A halo with a very sacred feeling appeared above it as if nothing in this world could stain it, as if this halo was empowered by the gods and capable of repelling all evil. Mu. The moment this halo appeared, the buffalo finally recognized Li Kai and became extremely excited. It mooed at Li Kai and used its head to rub against him, looking quite familiar. There we go. Although you have left me for a very long time now, I'm still here. Li Kai gently tapped the buffalo's head while smiling. The buffalo was ecstatic. Its nose spewed out hot air and it kept on rubbing against Li Kai as if it was seeing a loved one. Li Kai patted the buffalo while lightly sighing and said, It seems that the descendants of the Celestial Peak Divine School are no longer here, and the God King's branch is all but gone. So many years have passed, but no one came to find you. That means my promise with the God King also ends here. This normal looking buffalo was not a common one. It was a Draco Bull, but ordinary Draco Bulls were nothing compared to it since it had the bloodline of a true dragon flowing through its veins. Although it had yet to reach atavism to turn into a true dragon, it was definitely a divine bull. Li Kai named it the Imperial Draco Bull, and it was once his mount, following him from one dangerous location to another. If the Tetra War Bronze Chariot was Li Kai's carriage to fight against the world, then the Imperial Draco Bull was Li Kai's preferred mount to enter ominous grounds. Later on, when Li Kai let the God King protect the Celestial Peak Mountains, Li Kai wanted to make up for the God King's effort, so outside of granting him many treasures, he also gave the Imperial Draco Bull to this God King. Later on, the Bull followed the God King and became the school's divine guardian. Li Kai looked at the halo above its head and noticed how dim it was compared to before. He gently tapped the bull's head and said, Don't worry, although the divine school is no longer here, I'll find an even better lineage with sufficient power to nourish your divinity for you in the future. Mu, the bull understood Li Kai and affectionately rubbed against his palm. In fact, this bull was already extremely mighty and could have turned into a demon a long time ago. However, it didn't walk on this demonic path since it wanted to become either a true dragon or a divine bull. It chose not to gain intelligence using the Tao. Let me take a look and see what actually happened back then to the divine school. Li Kai placed his palm on the bull's head, and a radiance flashed. At this time, the bull's sea of memories appeared, allowing Li Kai to look at the past events of that year. Many scenes appeared inside the bull's sea of memories. Just like Yuan Kei had said, the strongest existence of the divine school dug out the item underground during that time. The moment it saw the light, it brought doom to the divine school. Overnight, many people died a pitiful death. Even an existence as powerful as a god king was still unable to avoid such a fate. Back then, the slumbering imperial Draco bull was the divine guardian, and it woke up from its slumber in astonishment. It rushed out from its cave, but it was too late. In just one night, countless experts had fallen. It then sealed that item again and went back to sleep, covering itself in blood era stones, awaiting its next awakening. However, the majority of the divine school's experts were dead. Later on, the school fell into decline, and not long after, the once monstrous existence collapsed. From then on, the lineage that presided over this territory that spanned millions of miles disappeared from the world. Because of this collapse, the God King no longer had any descendants, and no one ever woke up the Imperial Draco Bull from its hibernation until today. At that time, Li Kai made a promise to the God King that the bull would act as the divine guardian for the God King's main branch. Because of this, although the divine school had collapsed later on, Li Kai still didn't come back to wake the bull up. Millions of years had passed, but no one came to wake up this bull. This meant that the God King's line had ended, so Li Kai's promise with the God King would end here as well. Li Kai withdrew his palm from the bull's forehead and couldn't help but lament, one might be able to survive an act of God, but no one can survive a self-brought calamity. The God King left behind an edict, yet his descendants chose not to obey and eventually brought about this disaster. In the past, he let the God King suppress this land for two reasons. Outside of not letting the item underground see the light of day again, he also wanted to see this land be turned away from evil. The God King obeyed his order and suppressed this ground as well as preventing the world from knowing about the terrible item underground. At the same time, he continued to purify the land, allowing it to be a land of peace as well as building a powerful lineage on top of it. Unfortunately, his descendants didn't listen to his words and dug this thing out, creating a disaster for the school. Li Kai sat on the bull and ordered, Come, we'll go to the old location to take the carriage back. The bull opened its mouth and swallowed all the blood era stones. Then, with a loud moo and great excitement, it raised its hooves and immediately headed for the remnants of the divine school. The bull was as fast as lightning, and it hadn't been this happy since a very long time ago. It flew around everywhere, sometimes up to the nine heavens, sometimes down to the great river while at other times, it rode the wind in the sky. Li Kai couldn't help but smile while riding the beast, noticing its excitement. In this instant, it was as if he had returned to the past. The imperial Draco bull could be said to be the best mount in this world. Although Li Kai's Tetra War bronze chariot was also heaven-defying, Li Kai found that its potential was more suited for a battlefield. It was not without reason that Li Kai thought that the bull was the best mount. It could endure hardships, but more importantly, it was able to dispel poisons and avoid dangers. It could predict ominous events and evade them. At the same time, it could tread through any terrain. Nothing could compare to it. If one wanted to enter burial grounds or ancestral earths, then the bull was the best candidate. 
Even if it couldn't bring one to the deepest parts or the most mysterious parts in these dangerous locations, it would still bring you a fair distance. Once inside these locations, the bull would avoid danger and try its best to take you out from those places. Illusions and other sinister crises wouldn't be able to impede it. It excitedly rushed forward and was trying to find the same feeling as before when it brought Li Kai everywhere in the past. Eventually, it took Li Kai back to the old site of the divine school. The once powerful lineage was now in ruins. The glory of that year was no longer present. The bull took Li Kai to a particular location inside the ruins. Heavy bursts of explosions came about when the bull stomped on the ground, splitting it apart and causing an old pavilion inside the crack to float upward. With a squeaking sound, the old pavilion opened its doors. One could only see a carriage inside, a carriage with a very obsolete and ancient appearance. One wouldn't be able to count how many moons it had experienced. This common-looking old carriage, unbeknownst to others, had been empowered by countless invincible existences. This old carriage could take someone and escape from even ominous grounds. The bull connected the carriage's reins to its body and dragged the carriage away. Li Kai faintly smiled and sat inside the carriage to sniff a smell that couldn't be any more familiar. Squeak, the bull slowly pulled the carriage at a familiar pace just like in the past. Meanwhile, Li Kai closed his eyes and let the bull leisurely pull the carriage forward. At this time, Li Kai suddenly felt as if time was endless. Despite the vastness of the world, he could go as he pleased. The endless ages could only allow him to cross through them. The creaking of the carriage was heard. At this moment, this creaking sound was the most beautiful and pleasant noise to Li Kai. The bull was pulling the carriage in a very particular rhythm, not too fast, not too slow. This carriage with one bull and one man seemingly had an eternal and never-changing rhythm. It was as if nothing could be more intoxicating than its cadence. Eventually, the bull stopped as it was now standing in the centermost location of the divine school. The moment the carriage stopped, Li Kai, who was resting with his eyes closed, immediately opened his eyes. He jumped down from the carriage and looked at the ruins in front of him before asking the bull, It is at this place? Moo. The bull let out a deep cry before slightly nodding its head. Meanwhile, Li Kai couldn't help but become serious while staring at this sight. Hopefully, the thing has been refined, or else it will be a bit problematic. Li Kai gazed at the ground as if he wanted to see right through this land. Eventually, he took a deep breath and assumed a dignified expression before commanding the bull, Take it out, regardless of whether it has been refined or not. We must bring it away. Back in those times, it was not illogical for the ancient Ming to covet this item so badly. So now, we'll dig it out and take it away. Having said that, a series of explosions appeared. One treasure after another emerged above Li Kai's head, the Yin Yang Immortal Mirror, the Declivity Bell, the Green Lamp, the Heaven Ceiling Pentagate. These treasures poured down extremely powerful universal laws to protect Li Kai.